There's just something about a new project rolling in the garage, and this time around, we have a real gem. Welcome back to the Auto Obsessive Garage. Chadwick with you again for the first installment of Project OG FXT. It is indeed the original article, isn't it? This year of the Forester XT 2004. So we're gonna run with that as our working title. What do we got in the garage, guys? Well, we have a 2004 Subaru Forester XT. Now this is the second generation of Forester and the first time you could get a Turbo XT model here in the States. So 2004 was the first year of that, introduced in the second gen. You get this fantastic body style you can see behind me, kind of looks like a lifted bread box, wagony thing, who knows? It's great looking, I think it's aged wonderfully. And these have a cult following, they've really garnered a lot of respect. It is powered by an EJ 2.5 liter dual overhead cam turbo engine, very similar to what you get in the WRX. It does have the same turbo as the WRX from that same vintage, the TD04 Mitsubishi built turbo. So that's all great. All wheel drive, turbo, these are things we love. This is my seventh Subaru. So I have a little experience with the platform. I don't know what that hand gesture was, but. So I'm super excited to turn to this one. I am the third owner, so the first owner owned it for quite a bit and the second owner even longer and then it fell into my hands. It is behind on maintenance, which is the name of the game in my garage. We are always looking for the deferred maintenance cars, especially when we have to do a timing belt water pump job. Why do I feel like it falls on me to always do these jobs? No one wants this action. I'll take it. But uh, it's going to be good. We're going to do all the other maintenance items. I'm going to give you guys a tour of the vehicle. But I just want to give you that quick history. I've wanted one of these for a long time. As far as prices and availability go, Forester XTs are rare compared to how many Forester Subaru made. And XTs with a manual gearbox, which this one does, of course it does, are exceptionally rare, especially in stock condition. It hasn't been big turbo, front mount intercooler, giant injectors, fuel system. Blah, 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 blah. None of that action. This is completely bone stock and we're gonna keep it that way. But that maintenance is a mountain of maintenance we need to catch up on. So without further ado, let me give you a tour of the vehicle, show you what we're actually working with here. I am super excited about this one, guys. I mean, I think the hype is real. The cult following, they have all the rights to follow as a cult should. This is a fantastic vehicle. I think it checks a lot of boxes. It's weird. It's reliable, it's fun, it's fast-ish. Uh, it can haul a lot of stuff. Gotta love those things. Hauling ass, hauling stuff. But anyway, I'm talking way too much. Let's go ahead and take a tour of this 2004 Subaru Forester XT. Here it is, our 2004 Subaru Forester XT manual. Now let's take a look at the exterior first. Pretty good shape. Again, factory conditioned vehicle. It does have over 200,000 miles. So you're gonna get your standard paint chips, the front end, super paint chippy. So I think I'm actually gonna redo this whole bumper because on this side, it did take quite a little biff at one point, as you can see right there. So that's gonna be a complete sand down, primer paint, build it back up kind of event. It'll really refresh the front end. Same with redoing these headlights, perhaps getting a new badge too, as the Subaru badge has seen better days. Grill, gonna repaint that. I've sourced that special paint they use for a lot of the accents on this vehicle, including the mirrors and some of the side cladding. So I'm gonna redo that too. You guys know how it is. Bringing back these windshield wipers that have faded too, but there's the big old hood scoop. That's what we're looking for in any Subaru to indicate it is a performance model. But again, overall, not a lot of dings, deaths, some scratches, kind of minor stuff. 200,000 miles, you know how that goes. A little worn paint there on the door handle. We'll be fixing that. Racks up top, standard uh, rubber material is peeling off. It is black underneath, so I'm probably just gonna take that rubber material all the way off. They're like these little pad strips that Subaru puts on there, so we'll fix that up. 
Again, looking real good. Tires are pretty good. I think they're 2019 date stamp tires. Uh, they never were rotated though, so the fronts have very little tread compared to the rear, so we're gonna rotate those, get some life out of them. OEM wheels look pretty good, not too curb rashed up. Same story in the rear. You can see here the paint is faded on the Subaru trim piece here. This is that same kind of silver gunmetalish paint. We're gonna source and redo that, to make it look nice. The badge is where it's at, indicating this is a turbocharged Forester. But yeah, looking pretty good. Another little biff there on the rear bumper we can take care of. But again, down the driver's side, same deal. Looking real good overall. So, can't complain. The car's in good shape. The only paint fade is really up here on the roof. And we can try to bring that back with some buffing and polishing and see what we can do. But yeah. I'm super happy. Yeah, some trim, touch up paint. You guys know how that goes. But overall, this Forester XT, I'm the third owner, and even though it has 200,000 miles, is in excellent stock condition. What do you guys say? Let's check out the interior of this thing. Hopping in the Forester XT. I gotta love those frameless windows that Subaru loves so much, too. Uh, interior's in actually really good shape, guys. So this is, you know, the cloth and leather combo seats. A little bit of bolster wear down there. You can see it kind of stretching apart a little bit. Some of the fabric is torn slightly. But for a 200,000 mile example, it's looking pretty sharp. Uh, everything, again, is stock. So the dash, never modified. You can see a very rare sight. The OEM Forester mats in near brand new condition. These are really hard to source. And what was cool is that it had a set of the off-road rubberized Subaru mats throughout the car. Just simply put over these ones. So, bonus, I get rubber mats and brand new OEM ones underneath. So let's climb in here. I've always been a fan of these interiors, how they make them look kind of rugged. Shut the door. You can see the little webbing down here is like a net, a flexible net material, love that. I love this perforated vinyl pad that goes around the entire interior. So cool, so rugged looking. Again, there's that OEM floor mat just looking gorgeous passenger seat is in mint condition of course as you can see we are at 208,000 miles so not a very fresh Subaru Forester but turbo still pulls everything works great there's your digital clock readout you've got your little cubby area I always thought these were kind of neat how much storage space was in these factory radio that's kind of rare to get AC does need a recharge, so that'll be something we address. But this is the money right here. Five speed manual. And although it's not the best manual in the business, finding one of these with a manual is incredibly hard. And that is what I was gunning for and that's what I got. So pretty cool. You get heated seats too, which is fun. A little center storage area. One of my favorite features of the interior is the dual sunglass holder. So you got one in the front, one in the rear there. Everybody gets to store their sunglasses. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Uh, same shape in the back. Seats are in fantastic shape. I can actually sit back there and have plenty of head clearance. But yeah, there's lots of storage and it's very, very well maintained in here. So super happy with that. Let's pop the hood and see what makes this Forester so special. And it is not pretty under here. Pretty dirty. <laughs> But it is stock, completely OEM, and we love that. So this is an EJ engine, a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam turbo application. You can see the little teeny top mount intercooler right here. Overall, this is what I like to see. I'd rather deal with a dirty stock engine bay than an aftermarket tweaked one that who knows who had their hands in it. Stock, and that's the uh, name of the game. Pretty hard to source one of these. Now, if we come around to the side, the turbos are located in the rear of the engine on these flat fours. You can see it right down there, the little heat shield that goes down to the downpipe. We're gonna basically pull most of this apart because we are gonna do timing belt water pump. Obviously we'll replace valve cover gaskets, spark plugs, all those other wear and tear maintenance items, all fluids. You know, there's a lot of stuff to be done in a year. So obviously engine oil, air filter, new coolant, also doing transmission diff, transfer case, all that fun stuff. But battery's pretty fresh from last year. So no work needed there, but yeah, this is great. Brake fluid probably gonna be done too. We'll see how good the brakes look, but this is what I'm talking about. When you can find one of these, especially nowadays in this kind of stock condition, 
it's really something something challenging to secure and we're gonna clean this all up wonderfully aren't we guys you know how we do it here here it is guys a 2004 Subaru Forester XT completely bone stock one of the bigger mechanical issues that's gonna to need to be resolved on our Forester XT is the clutch pedal loves and I'm sorry about the lighting loves to stay depressed when you press it down and I just got it to do it with my hand uh, you can simply pull it back up like that that nine times out of ten is a clutch slave cylinder that needs to be replaced so that is certainly going to be on our list of things to do another major exterior bummer is this cracked windshield as you can see here we have a horizontal crack going all the way across nearly the windshield starting from this one point of impact and that's kind of a bummer so we are going to have to replace what is the oem windshield so that's kind of a bummer i hate to replace oem parts but We've got it, it's just right there. You can see it when you drive and I'm not a fan of that, especially since it is such a long crack. So a new windshield is gonna have to be put on the books. Let's get the Forester XT in the air and check out how she looks underneath. Let's crawl under the Forester XT and see what's going on underneath. So this can be scary with a higher mileage car. We're hoping it's not gonna be this situation. So a little light under here. Uh, not bad at all. Not a lot of oil residue. Uh, looking up here, you can see an OEM Subaru oil filter with a lot of oil on it, actually. Not too happy about that. That could be valve cover coming down. I'm hoping it's not part of the oil filter housing, so we'll check that, make sure there's nothing loose in there. And maybe replace that gasket if that's the case, but we we'll take this plastic shrouding down and have a better look. But at this time, we want to look at our suspension components. That's a big deal on higher mileage vehicles. So. I do have the records, that's the other thing. When you buy an older vehicle, you do want to get those records. It helps solve a lot of the mysteries. You can see the axles were recently replaced. They're in great shape. Same thing, tie rod end links look good. Those bushings aren't torn and leaking grease everywhere. And down here, you can see this. That's your ball joint at the bottom of the knuckle there. Also, rubber looks to be in very good shape, not torn, and there's no play in it. I tested it with a pry bar, so hey, we're in good shape. Always check both sides. On the records, it did say they replaced this ball joint a couple years back. Let us check the other side and see what we're working with. Uh, same kind of situation, good looking axle there. Same with the tie rod end links. But on this one, if you come over to the ball joint, let me zoom in so you can see it even better. It is perished. You can see the moisture around it. That's an indicator too that the grease has escaped. And you can see there is cracking on the rubber boot there. So we will be replacing the passenger side ball joint. Like I said, I have the record of the driver's side one being done, but this passenger one was not done. Probably was good looking at the time and now it is not. So add that to our list of things to do. These are things you want to replace now before they become big drivability issues. So overall, not too bad under here. We'll take this protective cover off and see what we're working with under that. With that plastic under tray dispatched, we can now look and see what's really going on underneath our Forester XT. First area we want to check out, obviously, the oil filter, oil pan area. You can see a little bit of oil residue on the filter. So, I'm gonna, like I said before, check the housing, just make sure it's not leaking. Oil pan has some kind of older gunk on it. Nothing's really wet, definitely nothing dripping on the floor here. So, we're looking good. Uh, here's the beauty of California cars, 200,000 miles. Look how amazing this exhaust looks. It just no rust at all there's no rust on the car at all which is fantastic so i'm not seeing any leaks nothing looks really nasty not a lot of oil coming down the front of the engine uh i think we're going to be in a good situation here i'm going to do valve cover or gaskets just because i don't think anyone's been in there for a while but this is what i like to see no rust no corrosion i mean that's insane gotta love that awesome all great signs again other than that ball joint on the passenger side i think we're good underneath the car We'll just do our regular maintenance that we have scheduled, but this is always a good sign. All right, I've got my handy dandy clipboard. That can mean one thing and one thing only. We're about to go over everything we need to fix on our 2004 Forester XT to get it to the standard we want it to be at, to be reliable, to be up to date on all its deferred maintenance. So let's get into this list. Remember too, this list only gets longer as we tear into the vehicle. So let's check it out and see where we're at. As far as mechanical fixes, we do need to do time and belt water pump. That's a big deal. We'll put new coolant in the car, of course, at that time. We're going to do that clutch slave cylinder job. Put some new clutch fluid in there, whatever this car requires, just to get that pedal to come back. I think that's all we need is a slave cylinder. Standard maintenance stuff, spark plugs, air filter, 
oil change. We're gonna do the trans and diff fluid on the vehicle as well. Definitely accessory belts, part of the time about water pump, you're always gonna do that. Uh, thermostat, will change that out. And of course, AC recharge, the AC, Compressor spins, doesn't make any noise, the pulley's fine, compressor looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and run some recharge through it and see if we can get that AC system blowing cold again. The other component of this Subaru Forester project is cosmetics. So we really need to address the bumper, especially where there are biffs on the front and all the rock chips, we'll clean that up. Really, that kind of stuff really brings the car back to life. We also have to do the trim paint. You saw all the different trim uh, items that are different colors. We need to do that at this time too, and that'll really clean up the exterior of the vehicle, which isn't in horrible shape to tell you the truth. A new badge maybe in the front, new Subaru badge, and a full detail both exterior and interior. And we should be done with this project. Of course, we'll probably find some more fun stuff to play with, but uh, again, this is a super cool car. It's got a crazy, you know, it's got a cult following, it's a popular car. Uh, I've always wanted one, so it's kind of like one of those Subaru bucket list cars for me. Super glad to have one in the garage and one that I can bring back to full health. Tune in next time and we'll see what we're doing to our 2004 Subaru Forester XT. Take care guys.